Hello, John. How are you doing, sir? I thought I would uh, talk to you a little bit about the uh, problem I'm still having to show you visually with the um, beacon. Uh, I, I, yet last night I did some extensive testing. I nuked the airplane. Uh, I, I put the X Plane 10 version on, and I did everything that I can do as an end user side, trying to figure out why this. Uh, why the you know the the beacon down here uh, that you see on my my pointer just does not work and I don't know why I know it's a minor thing but still it brings up the realism and you should have the beacon so anyway I'm gonna go ahead and uh, turn on the uh, switch here and I'm gonna go ahead and turn on battery 2 and then battery 1 uh, which is exactly um, I have the cheat sheet that you've created and I just did that. Cross bus ties on, so I'll turn that on. Avionics on, uh, which are already on from when the plane loads. It doesn't default off when you start the airplane or when you get the airplane. Uh, instrument lights on. Um, I think that's this one. Yeah, that's this one. Instrument lights on. Okay, and uh, so now I've got all that on. And right now, I should have a beacon light and when I go down here you see it not flashing uh, like I said I went into uh, plane maker looked poked around in plane maker trying to find the hooks tried to find the position of where the light source would be for the beacon I have found in other airplanes in the past where the developer had it just off slightly so when he when it migrated from like version 10.3 uh, back in the day to 10.5 as an as an example um, you would uh, you know it was off it was off just by a little bit it was like where my mouse is like the the light source was flashing like right over here and not over the graphic of the airplane and and at that time plane maker had the ability to be able to adjust the position of the light source itself so then that way it was right over this and it made it more you know realistic it made it more like it should be which is inside the uh, uh, inside the beacon now maybe in in 11 they changed that and that no longer applies because I can't find the position of these lights uh, here's you know when you turn on the uh, uh, navigation light uh, as an example um, Astrobes and logos, um, and that's fine. We'll just leave it that for that right, right now. Okay, the uh, strobes and the you know strobes and that are right in the position they should be. No problem at all. Um, the uh, the uh, well, hard to, hard time to turn here. The uh, uh, the logo light. Um, this, this one right here, it, it shines. Now I'm gonna now I'm gonna go off on a tangent here and move away from the from the beacon a minute. Uh, last night when I had this on and all the lights were down and whatever, um, you would see that this light would shine. The 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 uh, you wouldn't have an oval where this light would be projecting some kind of an oval to totally cover. As an example, this flag it was just kind of a partial of it. So it's kind of like, yeah, we have a light, but it's not doesn't really do much. It's basically is the end result of what we're getting here on the light. Uh, I would recommend you go ahead and um, put the light inside if you can. Reposition the light where it's inside the fin on both sides and then have it shine down where you have a big oval like this. That's what I've seen most developers do. And that way, if you have a picture or a company logo or whatever that's right here, it clearly shows shows it all. No problem. Uh, this side right here, this light right here that you can see, the dot is there. Um, but it's it uh, last night it didn't even it wasn't it didn't reach out away from the material of the fin far enough forward, going like this forward, meaning you know on top of the surface of the fin as opposed to built inside uh, it wasn't it wasn't showing any kind of a, a light this light source projecting a oval around this area at all so 
it's just a positioning of the light. The, the light position needs to be pulled out away from the fin just a little bit so it, it can project and shine that light onto, onto it. And again, to avoid having that problem, just have it up here, move it about a third or a half, maybe even three quarters, probably third, or I'm sorry, probably about a half of the fin between this point and this point, and then put the light right there. Then it should be enough to shine down right there. But that's something you'll have to experiment with to, to make it work. Again, light positioning. I don't know where this where the setting is to change the light positioning. Um, just don't know. And that would be, uh, you know, that would help. That'll go a long way and probably fix both problems. It'll probably fix this right here, why I don't have a, a beacon, and this up here. Uh, again, like I said, I tried to. Do, I even did the X Plane 10 version. And what's really funny with the X Plane 10 version in X Plane 11, it was crazy. Uh, this right here all became metal. Uh, like a look of a metal and it was all all this all the uh, um, they were very very highly reflective uh, extremely re reflective where uh, you would have like more of a brushed metal color like this but on the entire fuselage of the airplane it basically looked like this right here like like the uh, the brushed metal right here or the alu brushed aluminum but all over the fuselage the the uh, um, the, the wings um, were fine, and the tail was fine, was normal, just like this. But the uh, the the <laughs> the whole entire fuselage was brushed metal, and then you had this painted on to the top of the brushed metal, and it really looked weird. Um, I don't have it installed, so I couldn't do it for you right now in this video. Um, if you'll notice that you see some sheen, uh, and and you'll see it try to. To show some sheen, here's not going to be a good example because the sun is beating down right here. But uh, right here, you can see where the blue tint shows up, representing like the you know the sky. So it's acting like it's trying to bounce the sky, but it's not really turned up enough. Um, if if I load up a, a Carinado product, you'll see, uh, and if you happen to have a Carinado product to load, and then load your airplane versus a Carinado product, and you will see that the that this right here is really, really glossy and shine. You'll you'll even get uh, light bouncing from the uh, nacelle back into the fuselage, and it's really, really shiny. Um, and that's how they do their planes. Whereas this one right here looks uh, not totally dull, but um, it doesn't look, uh, especially over here. Here it looks kind of dull. It doesn't look really as you know, see, see the dullness of this? It doesn't look as dull as the, the spinner. Because you can tell the difference right now just by looking at this image. That uh, the difference between the white here and the white here is, is definitely, there's difference there. And it just looks dull. It doesn't look shiny. It doesn't look like, you know, the clouds in the sky are going to reflect. Which I don't think I have any clouds in the sky here. Uh, not today. <laughs> so that's a bad example. Can't show you that. Uh, but, you know... With the uh, Carinado products, with a with aluminum, with a or I'm sorry, with a chrome spinner. Uh, when this first off, when the chrome spinner is spinning, you actually see um, you actually see the the material how it spins. You know, you can see the material is moving, gives you that impression. So you can see the material is moving right now, but it's not as uh, it's not reflective. It is, it's about all I can really say. It's just not reflective because you wouldn't have this dullness, dull appear, appearance unless it was reflective. So that's something that needs to be worked out. Um, the uh, the reflections need to be amped up a little bit. And I don't know how to do that, um, to be honest with you. That's something that, that would be your expertise over me by a long shot. Uh Later on, uh, probably, you know, in, in future updates and stuff, you'd probably want to uh, uh, have, you know, fix stuff like this where you see how this is, this this will be a turn off to some people um, where it would be more, uh, you know, this, this would be hidden. This would just be solid color all the way through it. Like you painted the this first and then this is on top of it instead of having this, I don't know, bleed effect, or it's like the paint stopped before, and there's just a hole here. I, I don't know. I don't. 
That's just kind of weird right there. It's a minor thing, but still, it's one of those things. This right here, to me, I don't know. I, I think it's trying to look 3D, but to me, it kind of looks like uh, a picture instead of it being 3D. Um, but I don't know. That's just a minor thing. I mean, I'm not really too tripping on that. And you can see the jaggedness edges of the, uh, uh, you no, know, of that, whatever this is right here, and how it's how it's not a, f a complete circle, and that's just because it's it's 2K texture, I think. The reason why that's the way it is. But anyway, that's the video I wanted to do. Show you mainly just a couple little points here and there. I mean, I can go into all kinds of detail. I I'm I, I trash the I'm going to trash the eight gigabyte file that I talked about over text. Um, there's just too much here. Um, to be able to do it in a timely manner. I've already got 10 minutes into this video already because there's a lot of things here that are not working. There's, there's more or less it's, um, it's, it's uh, logic issues where uh, I, want, I do want to say that you, know, you, have to, you have this kind of a... Well, first off, you can see how dark that is. There is no... It's very, very dark and, this, and, the, and the, the base color of, the, of this is... is, is is a little lighter but not much distinguishing between the two and even if you have it turned where the light is it's 12 o'clock you still see that this light is very uh, like um, uh, I'm not gonna start because I have the I don't know how these turned on um, but you can see that uh, you know that this, it needs to be lightened up it needs to be lightened up to have more D distinguishing factor between this is a switch and this is the background it's, it's just barely there and especially at night at night it's really really bad at night actually these textures of these whites I've been finding uh, don't show up they don't they they when you go to well actually I'll just do it right now um, let me see how do, I gotta figure out how to do it see if I can do it okay I can't do it because I gotta turn it on but I'm just gonna show you right now just make it easy, uh, which means I gotta go over here and I gotta turn this off. There we go. Okay, and let's get dark. Okay, we are. Okay, we are now. Unfortunately, I'm in KWJF in Lancaster, but you see how dark the cockpit is. I no longer, if I turn the lights on. Uh, okay, we'll turn those on too. Why not? Um, you see how dark this the, the there's the the when you're at nighttime the the background merged with the with the the switch and there's in some situations here when you're trying to press things you can't you don't you can't find the hit box because you don't see that that uh, that indention or that off that set offset out to be able to click on the proper switch uh, it's it's a minor thing but it's still it's it's an annoyance. Um, I do see that this this is working uh, and the OBS is working um, and this is working so also too this needs to be changed to a needle or something I, I don't I don't it's this right here like this this is this to me I know some people do it differently usually you would have a static um, usually this right here would would be moving but it would be the full with an arrow and everything instead of just a little little thing like that. And then uh, the actual um, needle, the actual needle, the the needle, I don't know what the needle does, to be honest with you. I know, I know the uh, dial is static. Usually the needle is, is static and then the dial is randomly. And then when you change this, you have that little red heading bug that goes around the dial itself. And instead you made the decision to do it like this, which is not as, I think the, to be honest with you, I think the other way is better because you have a clear definition that when you have a little, that little red insert thing, we are over it you know three three zero or whatever whereas here you're kind of like well am I at three three zero or am I at three zero or am I at you know three ten three fifteen it's it, excuse me it's not exact now if you want to have this graphic and leave it like it is that's not a problem just have numerical values right here you know identification heading with a numerical value you know an LED or an LCD um, 
numerical value and then your course uh, have it set to where it's a numerical value then it takes away the guesswork you know exactly what you're at you know there's no there's no guesswork involved so some tender loving care needs to be done to this dial as an example I'm glad to see that you have this installed this is awesome uh, I don't we don't get airplanes that have the decision height anymore like it used to uh, and so which is really really cool now it's not exact because like right now I have another program that's on outside of the sim that it's basically a whole set of gauges like this that's outside the sim it's called uh, XHSI uh, XHSI is, is is my secondary simulation um, gauges so if I want to hit control W to have myself all three screens just look outside the window I still have the gauges because of my mom's laptops got this running in the on the network that kind of thing so I can see that, that you know that like, right, right now this right here is really 411 and and because it's it's so you can't get it exactly 400 so you just kind of get it close in the area like there's there's 410 right there um, and if I go over here yeah we're at a thousand in actuality we're at a thousand eighteen you know that kind of thing so it's a minor thing not a big deal and I don't, I, I don't really care but I just wanted you to be aware of it um, the uh, now as far as indicated airspeed okay we don't have a you know we don't have a set indicated airspeed bug here which is not a big deal uh, that's 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 actually you know that's gravy stuff uh, having having these indents the way they are and the overspeed that, that that worked out well uh this one right here if you look at this gauge even even in the position i'm at right now to me this gauge looks like the zero and the five are are are, are basically correct you know vertically and horizontally looks like the gauge is correct but it looks like this particular window right here looks like it's ajar it looks like it's like this point is these two points are higher than these two points uh, inside the window of the 2320 um, and I and I noticed that when I went over to um, uh, when I went over here to this other side I noticed the same thing on this this one right here is that it's it looks like you know it's it's high it, it's not they're not it's not perfectly or level so just wanted you to be aware of things like that because these are little nitpicking things that developers or that uh, users will will pick up over time they uh, I guess I'm turning this into a full review for you so I hope this is not another eight gigabytes um, the uh, uh, the the uh, ELT you don't have the ability to be able to um, test it and actually have a light that comes on when you test it now I have not crashed the airplane to um, have this come on so um, I have not tested this thing to see if this thing comes on when you crash or not but uh, it doesn't um, it does not uh, have a light and it does not give you the, the switch action does not actually move like in other aircraft minor thing something that needs to be fixed down the road uh, name name plate uh, what Carinado does and I'm using a lot of references to Carinado because that's what everybody shoots for everybody shoots for Carinado product as far as physical looks because they seem to me personally they seem to be the best looking aircraft out of anybody's aircraft it's Carinado seems to know what they're doing when it comes to to making the things look good system wise and everything else maybe not maybe not so much but uh, that varies between different pilots opinion but uh, as far as as this goes what they do is they actually when you when you create a livery and that livery somehow or another it sees whatever the title of that livery is and it puts it into here so like if you name tile your livery November 4 uh, 502 Delta Mike it would actually input that uh, that because of the titling of titling your your livery in uh, the liveries folder um, it would title it and put it right here for you which is kind of cool you know that's that 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 would be something good uh, I don't know if you did that or not because I have not I know modified liveries yet which you're working on for uh, giving us a, a blank livery and the blank livery too uh, the blank uh, let me touch on the blank livery real quick um, the blank livery let me pull up 
uh, real quick here. Uh, quick, quick, quick. Pull up, pull up, pull up. Um, let's see. Let's go over here. Cause I'm doing this outside the screen, so bear with me just a minute here. I mean, hear the sound of my voice as I'm sitting here trying to get to a livery that I have. And Solus Wings, B19, Objects, and we'll do this one. Okay, and then we'll minimize it, and then we will move it over here like this. Oh, you can't see it on a screen. Okay, fine, then I'll just switch, switch screens. Not a problem, I'll go like this. Okay, here is, here is the B19, how Carinato uh, painted it. And as you can see, it's in all kinds of pieces. Um, I'm able to get around it, you know, and you see my Solus Wings logo right there. And by trial and error, by loading the sim, then turn around and putting the, the proper things in. And basically, these components, Solus Wings, the blue, the red, uh, logo of the aircraft, which I have to find, by the way, I'll have to find a logo of the uh, EVO. Um, if they have one so I can put it you know in in my paint once you get the paints done and then of course putting in my 502 Delta mic and uh, you know the Sun as one of my mascot logos for for solo swings besides the wings itself you know it's you can and you notice the theme anything it has to do with sky is, is pretty much how it how it's set up there that, that's how I have my my logos things set up I have to do with sky you know Sun wings Solus Wings is my is my company or is my VA, you know that kind of thing. But you can see how all these are in parts, and you see and there's not a lot of parts, but there is parts. It's not like the old days uh, where let me see if I can find a an airplane that's. Um, uh, let's see. Let's go to. Um, uh, let's go to. Uh, I don't know if the Epic. I don't even know if I even did the Epic. Did I do the Epic? 502 Delta Mike. I don't think I did. Yes, I did. Okay. And the Epic. And the Aero Basque. Now, here's what Aero Basque did. Aero Basque made it so we can have all this, and so it made it extremely easy for me to actually put, because it's all, it's all together. I can just put it. If I want to draw a line or draw a graphic, I can just draw a graphic, because I, I don't have any knowledge and know-how to use Blender or any a uh, 3d modeling paint program in order for you just to paint right on the screen i just don't have that knowledge i don't have that i never learned that and i, and I don't know how to do that sort of thing but here i could figure okay well these are in the cells right here and there's the other side of the cell here is um you know various things for trial and error i figured out what is what oh these are the uh this is the tips this is what the tips are right here um and then uh, uh, I chose not to put my 502 Delta mic on the nacelle. I just wanted to leave the nacelles how they were, so I put it here in the back, which is probably a mistake on my part. I'll probably end up moving this over to here. But you see what I'm saying? And then here's the little little thing to be able to, that spins inside the turbine. Uh, I'm gonna change that to yellow. I just never got around to it, just to have something different. And also to balance with the yellow of the sun. You know? And that's how I look at things, you know, points of balance. Uh, you know balance between you know the engines and the the wings and the tips and the this and that and the other like so go over here this one right here I didn't do a whole lot uh, this right here actually is the tip actually is the is the uh, the tips of the wings um, but I do a lot of balancing between um, you know trying to make it all balance out and work um, and I'm trying to figure out, see right now, uh, see with your livery is not as bad because at least I can, once we get rid of all this and have an actual uh, plain white wrapper here with no, with nothing on it, then I can go, and it would be actually be kind of nice if you actually had cues like left side, right side, right, right engine, left engine, uh, this is the back side of the airplane. I mean, it's kind of, these are kind of common sense things that uh, we know already, but it would just be helpful to actually have a, a layer that says the, what these are actually are. I've seen that a lot um, in, uh, in that. 
but uh, I tried to actually, you know, I tried to change this to white and then tried to make it, try to make my own white, but because of the the granule effect between up here and down here, and you see how this how this is reflecting. Yeah, you basically you put in built-in reflectance between here and here, so X plane is not actually what I'm seeing in the sim. Um, is actually what you did here. So by looking at looking at uh, what you see right there, and um, let me uh, get the date back or the time back. Uh, looking what I'm seeing, what I see right here, and then um, when I go to, uh, oops, when I go back here, let me get back here where the sun's out and everything. We're not really X plane is not doing its job. The 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 PR the PBR, which is the uh, stuff that's supposed to be reflecting, is not doing its job right now. I'm getting these reflections. Is because of what you did. It's because of what you did right here with the granule effect. So, realistically, the uh, the 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 PBR reflectance is not really doing its job. It's it's what you did on the original paint is what I'm seeing here. It looks like, but I but I will say this, and that to 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 counter what I just said, I do see a little bit of reflectance here and there, but not that much. Like. Like right here, you can see the reflectance it's trying to do right there, but it's not really representing the ground. Like you don't see the the ground all that much. On the Carinado products, as an example, um, when I look over here, you would see that light be bouncing like crazy off of off of this off of this. And uh, you know what? I, I know it's going to take a little time to load, but we're just going to do it right now anyway, just to show you so you know without a doubt exactly what I'm talking about. You just saw what you saw there. Now let me go to uh, the um, the, Shrike, the Shrike Commander. It's going to take a, it's going to take about a minute and a half to load, so bear with me a minute while we're, while we're doing this. Matter of fact, I'll switch over here to this other screen and show you that but what we saw is we saw what you your hard work that you did in making this um so that's what we're seeing we're not seeing a whole lot of reflections that x plane is 11 is supposed to do that's the that was the selling point with x plane 11 is like hey you know you got you developers don't have to put all these different shading effects or anything in the airplane uh x plane 11 is supposed to do it for you so um and and you'll see here in a second with the uh the shrike commander right away that uh that yeah the uh all right so now we're in a shrike commander and and the, and it's too if you if you want to have a fun fly you know for for your fun you know get away walk away from your project a little bit just to take a break and, you know and if you like high wing airplane you know Karen Otto did a good job they did a good job on this airplane all right, so right away you're gonna see some changes here. Okay, when I go down here, look at look at that. Look at that. Look at the look at the shading effect. Look at the uh, the 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 light how it's dancing off of you know off of uh, the cells right here. You can see it. You can see it. You can see the uh, the 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 reflection of the spinner. This chrome spinner, how it's reflecting the sun. It's reflecting the sky. It's reflecting the the ground right there. Uh, with the chrome spinner uh, it's 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 night and day and you can see over here when I go over here um, because of the angle I was looking at that spinner is different than this one over here and you can see I have a different image right here and when this spinner spins you can see the imperfections of the chrome as when it's at low rpm uh, you can see that this is actually moving it gives you the sense instead of this being right here a static image while while it's spinning it actually gives you that sense of of it spinning and you can actually see some ex accents right here where you see the reflections of it's reflecting off the airplane the paint is reflecting a material or whatever it may be is reflecting you can see it big time right there that you can kind of make out that that is the uh that that is the hangar that's behind that's behind the airplane that's what you need to shoot for that's what you need to look for um in 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 the reflectance that's when you when you say in the advert when they say in the advertisement when they buy their plane that says uh uh 
PVR reflectance. That's what uh, users are expecting. So you are right now going to get some flack from users saying, well, wait a minute, I don't see any reflections because they're going to see stuff like this when they buy their Karen Auto product and they're going to say, what the hell, man? Where, 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 where's these reflections coming from? I see no reflections. You know, that kind of thing. And, and by the way, this is kind of how I would paint uh, your airplane. Uh, my nacelles are always blue. Um, unfortunately, this blue is not as blue as I'd like. It's it's uh, it's more of a purple color, and I've got to fix that. And that that's that that's my bad. That's something I got to work on. It's to me, it looks more blue towards purple than actually uh, blue blue like like I want. So it's a work in progress, you know. Um, I'll get it eventually. And of course, having the the tips, the wing tips, always I always try to do the wing tips. Um, you know, the balance you got your wing tips and then you got your uh, um, uh, then you got your engines there the uh, the nacelles are always blue uh, every every plane even if it's a single prop plane uh, you'll see that the if like see if you had a prop right here I'd have this to the cowling to before it mates into the fuselage I have that blue just just that the engines are always that color um, the, the, the wrap around the bandana I've got wrapped around here, that's just something I, that's specific for this particular airplane. I generally don't do a bandana, um, just to give you some ideas. Uh, but it's it, it looks nice. I don't, again, because of the way, uh, because of 3D modeling, I don't have the ability to make these kind of, uh, or the know-how to make these kind of, uh, you know, paints like that, where you can actually have the, uh, you know, make all these these uh, waves I guess you could say you can call these wave effects I guess you could call it I don't have the ability to do that sort of thing because I don't have an ability to be able to you know with blender or whatever um, I don't know how to do that and I, I'd actually have to be taught because I sit there try to teach myself and with blender and it was just kind of like I just rolled my eyes back like this is a pain in the ass so if I get something like this, I can work with something like this. It just won't look as good, and it'll be limited, and I will never have paints that have waves. But at least, um, unless unless the developer has these waves, and I just change, you know, change the color of these waves to, like, leave this blue like it is, and then change this red to a yellow, and then, because um, basically what I'll do is, what you got right here is actually not bad. I kind of like with this. I just get rid of the... Uh, you know, get rid of the flags and put the American flags on there because I'm an American, of course. Uh, this is the crash ones, which I thought was kind of cool. No, I don't, I don't think anybody's done any crash crash ones. I thought was kind of nice. Uh, and you see how, you know, be, this is all, uh, again, I would just change the colors and just go with that, but change the colors, but, you know, or do like the other way, you know, or try to make something like this, where I don't have any waves at all, and I just go back to what you know what I know how to do, uh, that kind of thing. But uh, and also these are also your 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 textures are 2K and and um, you know a lot of the developers now are running 4K. Uh, I don't know if that has a difference. The only reason I'm bringing it up is not because that yours are inferior or anything. I'm not saying that at all. I'm just saying that. Uh, hey, look at there! You can actually see that there's a tower, and everything inside the uh, inside the reflection inside the uh, um, you know the the spinner, and that's and that kind of is what is what you need to shoot for something like that for a chrome spinner effect, or for any effect that way. Even if that was solid white, you would still with the this this is how PB you know PBR works. It works like that where you would. Whatever's in front of you. When I was flying this airplane, there's actually I was up in the clouds, and you actually see the clouds were just were just flying by this the look of the spinner, the reflection, and that sort of thing. So, which is which is really really cool. But that's how P uh, a P P R works, and, and it works like that, and uh, and it works great. Um, now I try to get back to your airplane. What did I do with your airplane? Oh, there it is. And uh, so, so, the, so you need to figure out what's going on with with the PBR. Why are we not getting the reflections like you see in other aircraft? Matter of fact, you can see in this 
this uh, let me go over here to scene two here we go okay here's here's another paint that I did for the uh, PA the remember yesterday I was telling you about the PA 31 uh, that I was flying or 34 that I was flying and this is the paint for that and you can see there's reflections a little bit right here on the nacelles uh, and, you, and I had to have my I had to put a girlfriend in there um, which is kind of cool and you can see that all the all the all the points are all and and see there's no there's no red in this one because I don't have anything on the bottom here once with your airplane um, I'll go back to your airplane once uh, once we get a plain white wrapper um, I'm gonna this right here will become red you know maybe the bottom maybe parts of the bottom or something would become red uh, or something like that I don't know I have, uh, that's just something that's just something I'll have to do but you can see right right now if I go to the same shot as we did with the Carinado product the the PB the PBR is not working I, I should be seeing a reflection from the this bouncing off of here and I should be getting a gloss and I'm not getting it either it's either you have it turned way down or it just didn't work it just didn't come through that's why it looks compared to the Carinado product it looks dull and and you're not the only one it's this way so I want to tell you right up front you're not the only one um, the MU 260B is this way but that's a 2013 vintage aircraft so uh, it's, that's totally understandable now I did talk to Tom Tyler who was the maker of the MU 2 and he said that they are that he did modify the uh, the spinners so now the chromes are not just baked on now they're they're actually gonna be like you saw with the uh, you know with the Carinado product so the X aviation products gonna be the same as the Carinado product but those guys have been doing them for years they know exactly what they're doing and you know it's just all they only problem only only factor they have is time is, is there is their enemy is time because they already have all this stuff down um, but like I said you don't see the reflections up light bouncing off of the ground in uh, you know reflecting off of here when you when you go over a taxi rut a, a taxi a taxi line that yellow that yellow would actually reflect off of all of this if the if the PBR was working so to sum up uh, that in your advertisement or in the not your advertisement but the advertisement that xplane.org store has right now saying that the, with P, PBR effects uh, right now people are going to balk at that because you're not seeing it and so that might be a problem for you that you'll have to address so you don't have the drama there's a lot of drama in the making these airplanes and I know it. You, you've stepped into an arena that's that's uh, you know you gotta cross your T's and dot your I's because you got because your customers are gonna complain about every little thing and I'm just doing this to complain about every little thing just to show you of what people are gonna complain about <laughs> Um, the uh, I do like the fact that when you hold the mouse that this stays open I, I think that's cool but uh, here's another thing is that going outside here if I want to go outside um, I can't I get I get I, it's like a glass wall right here it does not allow me to go outside I, I have restrictions like I can go down here I can I have free movement around here and whatnot um, but I do not have the ability to uh, walk outside for a role playing factor. For ro if I want to go outside, let, let's say that I want to do a role playing factor and I want to start my flight. I want to start, you know, outside, right outside the door here, and and then open the door from the outside, get into the cockpit, or get in from the back. Uh, those abilities are not available I, I've been able to figure out how to open up these two doors but I've not been able to figure out how to open up the back door because the backboard doesn't have any hitboxes so anyway I could go on and on here I'm gonna go ahead that's just something you have to work out um, I can go on and on with this um, I'm already coming up on 30 not 40 minutes on a video here I, I will say real quick that these are not on gimbals where other manufacturers uh, airplane manufacturers are on gimbals I don't know how to do that but to move the light around so the light is just not shining right here it actually you would see the spot in other areas uh, by just moving the gimbal uh, that's a minor thing that's something that should be you know on the back burner down the list someday it's not a critical thing uh, none of this stuff works right here I notice you got bleed air left and bleed air right which means that they 
the aircraft vendor intended, or the manufacturer intended to have some kind of a pressurization of some sort here. So that will have to be worked on eventually, uh, getting these to work. But again, your product is $15, and I totally understand that. So I expect things to work, and I expect some things not to work. So eventually, this could turn into a, a $34 product. My golden, my personal golden rule is, is never play more than $34 or $37. I think I paid $37 once. Uh, never pay, you know, more than $39 for an airplane. Never. Uh, I just, it's just... It's just, uh, that's a lot of money to spend on an airplane that could change, and there's a lot of factors involved, but I know that's just my personal thing. Uh, I, I will never spend the $69, $70, $80 um, for an airplane like those 737s and 787s and all that sort of thing. That's just, for me personally, that's just not going to happen. i just just not going to do it unless something really, 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 really is justified to do it. It's it just, you know, it just, it costs a lot of money. You, you end up spending a whole, you know, end up having all this library of, of especially when in, when you're going from one product from X-Plane 11 or 10 or X-Plane 11 to X-Plane 12. When you're going to go between X-Plane 11 and X-Plane 12, the end user and yourself probably as well is going to have a lot of investment into X-Plane 11. And then now X-Plane 12 comes out and now I got to rebuy all this stuff all over again so we can have the new shiny that the X-Plane 11 or X-Plane 12 is going to offer when that happens. Um, so users are gun shy in spending a lot of money on um, on airplanes and stuff because they know it's going to be obsolete in a year or two or three unless X-Plane 11 has a full five-year cycle like X-Plane 10 was. If that's the case, getting in early is the thing to do because then you're going to, for the whole life cycle for that five years, it's going to be awesome. It's going to be where you're going to be uh, on the, you know, always getting free updates and yada, yada, yada. But in reality, um, if I think, I, I think X plane. I personally think between X plane 11 and X plane 12 is going to be a shorter duration because now we've got more products. Their mindset of uh, Austin Meyer and the X plane 11 team has kind of changed a little bit. We're like, well, hey, we got these four other flight simulations out there, and we're going to have to step up our game to make sure that we give our customers the latest tech to play with to keep them on in our camp on our side and so i think they they have a little bit more urgency to you know to um want to come out with newer versions to keep that 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 that, that uh, illusion of it's new it's new it's new shiny it's brand new you know buzzwords like that to keep everything new they they're going to gravitate gravitate towards that and so I expect probably in two years maybe three you know maybe they'll stretch it to three but I think in two years time 18 months to two years kind of like an MMO like a World of Warcraft expansion as an example between between expansions I think they're going to do every 18 months to two years uh, I could be wrong you know I could be I'm telling you this and I could be totally wrong but I think they, they will probably do 18 months to two years and then they'll come out. Hey, we got X-Plane 12 out. And because of that short time span between one and the other, buying new airplanes, buying new scenery, buying new stuff to have the new shiny is going to become problematic for users because they're going to say, well, wait a minute. I just spent $49 on XYZ product and, I, and, I, and you take that divided by... You know the 24 months this is how much money this thing has costing me a month for this airplane that I just purchased or I purchased or whatever so they've got those kinds of things that they're gonna have to to checks and balance out because we're not you know us as end users we're not gonna spend a whole lot of money uh, on airplanes and all on this stuff if you guys are gonna be spitting these things out every two years because we're not feeling as in users we're getting our value out of our investment that we put in yes we got our our time in during the time we had it and enjoyed it while we had it but you know we we kind of tend to go long term because uh, we don't have a lot of money to be sitting there throwing out you know every two years you know all new products 
So, and Carinado's going through this with the uh, X plane 10, X plane 11, uh, uh, you know, uh, B uh, B 1900 D that they just that they have, and so uh, they're going through the growing pains with that. With cause customers complaining like, man, why, why don't you just do a free update or a low cost update instead of just paying the full price for thirty four dollars all over again? You know, it's just you know, there's just minor changes here and there, but those minor changes end up being a lot of work on the developer side trying to you know you know have those new P, you know PBR textures actually work. So. But anyway, like I said, I can go on and on because I I've got a lot. Uh, there's a more that I could say right here uh, um, with the, uh, uh, the the logic having switches and that sort of thing. Uh, they need to be uniformed. Uh, I think. Uh, matter of fact, you can see right here where I'm turning on this switch. You know, this is turning on. I, okay, that's something I just knew. I didn't know. I, I didn't notice that before. Uh, your your uh, external power switch. Um, the external power needs to actually have the, the, either, either the LED light come on and then the external power. Because here, here's what happens when I, when I turn on the GPU. Here comes my little GPU buddy. There he is. He just showed up here. Okay, now by him, by him, how I know I'm on ground power right now is because this guy's here. If I, if I turn off my ground power, okay, he goes away. Okay, what if a user doesn't have the ground handling stuff by Joan, uh, Joan, Jonah, Jonah, or something like that. I forgot the name. It's it's a freeware. It's it's this thing right here. This ground handling stuff. Um, by these people, whoever they are, Jonah or whatever. It didn't really show, does it? Well, actually, if I go to visit the website real quick, you can see. Or is it gonna go? To this stuff. This is what I have by Joan. Okay. Well, anyway, if I because I have that, um. I got the little GPS guy, but our GPU guy, but I don't have um, I don't have an indicator that yes you are connected to ground power, so it would be kind of helpful to have a ground power thing and that sort of thing. But anyway, we're coming up on 47 minutes here. You got you got almost an hour invested in this, and I apologize for that. So you take care and you have yourself a great one. I'm gonna let you go. There's more to say. Um, uh, always come over to my Discord channel if you ever uh, if you ever have a hankering um, to talk. Uh, I'm my my Discord channel is always available. Um, I think I in one of my mails I showed you. Uh, in one of my mails I showed you uh, my Discord channel is is right here. So let me pop it up right there. So you should see in in our text communiques. Here's a Discord channel right here. Uh, everybody's online but nobody's nobody's talking and these are the voice channels um, and you can always come on into the explain if I happen to be in there because I I'm in and out all the time you, you may could text me um, you know text me and say hey Dion I'm in your discord channel get your get your butt in discord channel I need got to ask a question or whatever and if and feel free to ask questions you know um, I've been I've been with the I've been with uh, X plane since 2015 now um, uh, probably January, February 2015. I've been a flight simmer since 1981. I mean, I've grown up, you know, f with flight simulations. It's just that I, I was away from flight simulation for like 10 years, 12 years, 15 years, and then I come back, and then I go away, and then I come back. So it's not like all those 30 or those 40 years I've, I, or whatever, I've been a uh, flight simulation, you know, I've already been you know been in it i just been in and out of it so anyway so like i said come on into uh x-plane adventures um i i did give you a, a unlimited um a, a key to come into the channel so anytime you're ready that's somebody that happens to be somebody's channel i see somebody's actually in there i'll probably go wrap with him once he's uh because i think he's take, taken off uh but somebody is that uh va and familiar network was the somebody network another another uh uh another developer for another product and then of course few uh, frugo i don't know if you're familiar with uh frugo sim um and that sort of thing but uh, at any rate uh and then castrator here's castrator stuff uh and that sort of thing oh there's frugo sim frugo sim is right there that's frugo sim now, actually that was my personal <laughs> that was my personal one right there um, but at any rate, so like I said, you just come on in to the uh, 
to Discord anytime you feel. And, and like I said, if you want to talk and if I happen to not be in there, then just yell at me and say, hey, Dion, get your butt into your Discord channel. I got a question to ask you or whatever. So anyway, guys, you take care and you have yourself a great one. I got I to go or I got to get off here because we're coming up on an hour. Talk to you. Bye.